what's up guys it's the next day uh i feel like i say that a lot but anyway i don't always have the most time anyways it's the next day gonna uh get started on the arc 7 um gotta clean the clean this bolt if i can get it pretty clean uh, I'll probably use it might not might just go pick up a new one gonna clean the chassis where the ground mounts though and uh, Where the positive mounts, but the positive seem to be fine clean both the terminals like the connectors that connect to the battery pull the battery out of this Put it in that Check all the fuses in the rx7 see if any of them are blown. There's only like five in the engine bay I'll show you in a minute, but Check all the fuses and stuff and then go from there so this is the amp there's six amps the retractor I don't know what the BTN means main head engine injectors I think I'm assuming an engine compression or EGI whatever anyway <clears throat> suck with electronics this one's open uh, but it looks all right that one looked all right this one kind of looked a little rough I don't know if you can see that anyway it looks a little bit bad that one looks not too bad so these are kind of cool though I haven't seen them this one though looks pretty rough uh, looks kind of corroded and stuff in there uh, so welcome back looking a little more into it can't get it out drive pliers crack this siding uh, then the top popped off but if it focuses that looks focus that looks pretty bad uh, looks pretty corroded for a fuse so yeah can't get it out though found these bolts on the side for the wires uh can't get to those so i'm gonna take this and this take this whole uh bracket off and then see if it's hard wired because it looks a little bit different on the sides than like the other one that's opened it has like clips deep in there so i don't know take this bracket out and we'll see so yeah Okay, so I got it out. I did lose the top though because when I cracked it it popped off and landed but didn't hit the ground So it's somewhere deep in there. But anyway uh, Yeah, that looks though do, do, like the things in the in the fuse harness whatever look all right. These are kind of gross um, Just this bolt I put it back in so like that connector doesn't get all messed up in this top bolt Just the two top ones and slides right out Wish I had looked before I lost the top Anyway, uh, they're like Pacific, oops, sorry, Pacific something, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find one. This is an 80 amp. Um, see if I can find that somewhere so that I can replace it and then get another a new nut for the ground. I don't even need anything like crazy. I'll just get like a, like a, um, basic one just like a grade a bolt uh because yeah I, I i mean i don't need like something i don't need to go to like the dealership or something and get a replacement bolt for the ground i mean it's not like holding anything serious and i just get a grade a stainless steel bolt and hopefully or just like a stainless steel bolt and hopefully it'll be all right so i'll bring this in with the same thread pitch and a washer or and the washer this ground or the uh, this 80 amp fuse um, see how much that'll be and if anyone will even have one so new bolt washer this one looks way more aggressive I don't know it's crazy compared to the old one it's gonna be the same thread pitch but this bolt's just a little bit bigger hopefully it still fits I this one had like a built-in washer with a washer so and this one has like the teeth on it so I just grabbed the washer anyway so hopefully it'll work uh, crawl into there and get going in my flashlight also cool thing i never showed anyone or like the thing so those of you that know my name my real name my real name's not tuna obviously uh my name's cole and the key to the mazda says cole here let me see that are you recording now yeah okay so we're making progress i think things are getting tight uh i don't know i think we're good here I put the negative or the ground on. I'm tightening the positive. I think she's tight. Took me about five minutes to fit the wrench on. This is tuna live. 
in tuna time. But now it's tuna tire time because I'm dead. So we're gonna take the battery out of the speed three, hook it up into the into here and see if anything happens. Hopefully it does, because if it does then I'm gonna be a little sad. Tuna's gonna be sad. So Yep. Oh okay, I gotta get out of here. It's been 30 minutes. We just it now it. it's been like 30 found seconds. the 10 millimeter. Yeah, it was in the grass. I don't know why it says there. So I'm taking this battery out. Gotta take the bracket off and then take these connectors connections off. Don't wanna tighten it. So yeah, just gonna loosen that. And then take these off. Easy peasy. Oh! We got that on camera. I think. That's why I mean, don't pay attention. Hopefully I didn't just short this fucking battery out. Okay. <sighs> Tune the time's gotta take a break. We're gonna be back in a minute, okay folks? <laughs> Give me a minute, turn it off. Sorry if you can't see. Oh yeah, got that open. Yeah, it's getting dark. I wasn't kidding. Like yesterday when I quit at like eight, I, it wasn't a joke. Like it gets dark, like nobody's business out here. So hopefully I don't get electrocuted. I mean, it would create light. <sighs> Connection's not strong, but it's on. Okay. okay. Hopefully we don't get electrocuted. Thank you. Yeah. You're my dream car. <laughs> the Subi? Huh? The Subi? That one in that red car. That. Thanks, dude. Have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do actually. What is it? Tuna the Kid. What? Tuna the Kid. Tuna the Kid? T U N the Kid. Okay. Like Tuna the Fish? Yeah, like Tuna the Fish. Here, I'll show you guys. Oh my god, he's self promoting. Hey, so the kids convinced him to rev the Subi. Well, not rev the Subi. They wanted him to, but he's being respectful. Because we are in a neighborhood full of elderly people, he's not going to rev it and wake everybody up at eight o'clock. <laughs> but he will start it for them. I'm gonna post your YouTube on Instagram and Wait, we let it focus. To, it, it's not gonna focus. We tried hooking up that battery and it just keeps sparking. And I don't wanna just like destroy my battery and then have to buy two batteries. So we're gonna put the gear in. I can see. Yeah, Actually, I'm gonna turn Okay. Put the key in. I'm gonna hook this up. Hopefully this will work. Cause yeah, I don't know. I think it needs the battery to do it. I don't know how I'm supposed to hook up the fucking battery though. Well, oh, it's sparking. I don't know why it's sparking so much. There's no way I'm gonna get lights with this. Yeah, I highly doubt it. But, you know, whatever. Worth a shot. 